Hi there, Sophie. I'm very happy to see this essay from you. I'm going to get right into your corrections. We can see what you had to say. The topic is international marketing. Okay, you have to discuss both sides and give your opinion. Let's see what you said. Nowadays, globalization has become a trend, not a trending, a trend. Oops, what happened here? Sorry. Okay. Uh, it has become a trend in recent decades with a dramatic impact on the economy for every country involved. Supporters think highly of international marketing without the the as valuable as a valuable economic opportunity while others know the treat it as an enemy to uh, an enemy which damages domestic economy which makes international marketing a controversial topic. Okay, check it out. It asks you to give your opinion, so this is where you want to do that. You want to say what your opinion is, provided that it asks for it, and it did. So you have to do that in your introduction, okay? With the development of international markets, S, trading transports valuable information to different countries <coughs> so that they are able to learn beneficial ideas from others, such as high-tech information, manufacturing skills, etc. Um, and, okay, and you just had mentioned two things. So... In fact, since you had the such as, I wouldn't have even put the etc. So just such as high tech information and manufacturing skills. Done. Less developed countries gain knowledge and skills from developed countries. Simultaneously, developed countries take advantage of the labor source from developing countries, which in fact helps both countries to advance. With larger markets all over the world, all the industries would face foreseeable growth opportunities, S, which may bring unbeatable profit to, I don't know what you mean here, local industries. Full stop. Uh, you're talking about, I don't really know if you're necessarily dealing with international marketing here. It doesn't feel like this is international marketing, but more just like globalization and international trade. But I don't see how this is international marketing specifically, okay? Uh, it might help if you read a little bit um, about what global what international marketing is instead, alrighty? Let's move on. However... However, international marketing also breaks the barrier of local protection, which increases the competition and endangers the small local businesses. The multinational corporation generally has enough financial support and possesses great brand reputation, which can easily set the tone for the entire industry or become the leader for the industry within the country. The intrusion gives limited space for local business, startup companies, or even larger companies to build up their business, and sometimes even gives a hard time for local businesses to survive. However, without the local corporation support, the country's economy would gradually be taken over by the foreign companies. Taking Canada, as an example, as a neighbor of the United States, the economy of the U.S., the, has a significant impact on Canada due to NAFTA. Even Canada is already, mm, even though Canada is already a developed country, the majority of its corporations, S, are dominated by the U.S. parent company, which makes a struggling position for Canada if NAFTA is broken one day. Okay, interesting, but still not sure. Um, I have some questions about the development here. Although you had some nice language and you had some um, nice ideas, I do still have a question mark in my head as to how directly related this is to international marketing, okay? Okay, all right. As far as I am concerned, in an IELTS essay, we never use contractions. We always write the full, full word out. International marketing is still going to grow as an essential step for the development of the entire world. This disadvantage may make people afraid of that trend. However, with proper control of the legal authority, the barrier can be killed again with additional foreign business governance and limitation. With appropriate foreign business policy, each country could benefit from positive growth and prevent negative effect, not prevent from negative effects, I would say here. The key would be how to balance the limitation and benefit at the same time. Okay. Um, so, <sighs> all right, so you think it's going to grow, but my question to you is, is do you agree with it? Are you in favor of it? That's not really clear. Um, so I want to hear where you stand. I mean, do you think it is educational and and helps you know culture and language or do you think that it's intrusive and invasive all you told me is that you think it's going to grow so i don't really feel like you absolutely answered the question here i hope i hope that makes sense now another thing that i want to bring up is you talked a little bit here in this paragraph about gaining knowledge but um what about all these elements that it asks you to talk about economic form of education spreading ideas language and culture 
I didn't really hear much of that at all, language and culture, nothing. You talked about labor sources, etc., etc. So my big concern here is with your task development, your topic development, sorry. Um, also, since you are in favor of it, from, this is kind of what I, I gathered from your essay, this paragraph needs to come second, okay? So the side that you don't agree with comes first, and the side that you do agree with comes second. Also, take a look at the size of your paragraphs, okay? This one is about six and a half lines long, and this is far greater. I mean, so you want to try to, I know it might sound a little silly, but you do want to kind of balance this out a little more, especially since this supposedly is the side that you agree with. It doesn't make sense for you to have more arguments and more writing for the side that you disagree with, okay? So keep those things in mind. Um, I hope I get to see more of your essays. Um, I think that if we continue to work together, we can really help you improve and get the score you need. So I hope you'll get a chance to look at some of the options offered here um, for courses and continuing to work with us. So lots of luck to you, and I really hope I get to see more of your essays in the future.